Tips for efficient performance auditing. How to produce higher quality audits with less effort by working smarter. We find a considerable volume of guidance for conducting performance audits, especially economy and efficiency audits, but not much about economical and efficient auditing. That is, the economy and efficiency of the auditors themselves in conducting their audits. Based on our experiences, we recommend the following approach for efficient performance auditing. Research the topic. Write a focused audit plan. Start at the top. Evaluate the manual. Plan and prepare your interviews. Communicate with your auditee and have a positive and supportive attitude. Auditors who know about the functions they will audit are miles ahead of auditors who learned while auditing those functions. This is especially true for auditors whose training, background, and experience are limited to finance and accounting. They are out of their realm when evaluating other functions such as facilities maintenance, worker safety, environmental regulations, and a multitude of others. Researching enables you to know what to look for in your auditing, particularly how the function should be managed. It helps prevent your being misled by auditees, whether intentional or not. The two best sources are textbooks from your library and the Internet. Write an audit plan that is focused on your audit objective and on the function you will audit, based on your background knowledge and your specific research. Use prior audit plans for ideas, but don't try to save time by using prior audit plans in their entirety, even if the two audits seem similar. This common attempt to save time leads to flawed audits and wastes time in the long run. Interview top executives first to learn what they know about their organization and the criteria you will use in your audit. Your audit criteria is management's guidance, and all levels of management should know about it. Also get a feel for management's attitude. Positive and supportive attitude among management is an internal control. Then interview subordinate levels of management in the organizational chain. It can reveal breakdowns in communication and attitudes. All your interviews with management will help you develop the cause element of your audit finding. Look at the Auditee's Policy and Procedures Manual as it relates to your audit objective. Organizations should have effective written policy and procedure manuals. Manuals should be logically organized and clearly written so all affected employees can understand it. Compilations of memos that basically say, don't do that anymore, are inadequate. Manuals should be implemented effectively with training sessions if appropriate. Manuals that are simply handed to employees are not effectively implemented and are highly likely to be ignored. Organizations with no manuals, sloppy manuals, memo compilations, or poorly implemented good manuals are mismanaged. They reveal a lack of foresight, planning, communication, training, and supervision. In such organizations, you will likely find inefficiency, low productivity, poor quality, non-compliance, low morale, unsafe workplaces, and or other serious problems. Compare practices in the organization to what is required in its policy and procedure manual. Assuming that the manual is worthwhile, inconsistencies and non-compliances indicate poor training and poor supervision. Again, you are likely to find numerous problems in such organizations. Plan and prepare every interview distinctly, focused on what you need to know from each person. Don't go to interviews with off-the-cuff questions. Casual interviews lead to incomplete evidence with marginal usefulness, and they invite wasting your time and theirs. Communicate with your auditees during your audit, and maintain good working relations with them throughout. This approach 
helps you understand the operations, develop the cause element of your findings, and saves time during your report writing process. It goes a long way toward getting the best results from your audit. Have a good, positive, and supportive attitude yourself. It enables you to think more clearly, be more open to new ideas and approaches, work with and inspire your team members, and produce the best audit results. Enjoy your successful auditing!